All right, so got another quick tutorial video this morning, and this is about the speed of uh, laser engraving on your Omtech uh, laser running light burn. Uh, gonna go through a quick tutorial to show you how to speed that up significantly. A uh, little disclaimer, speeding this up, uh, I, I don't know if it creates additional wear and tear on your stepper motors. Um, I've been doing this for over a year. I haven't had to replace any stepper motors, but this is actually gonna change the, the speed that you travel across the X and Y axis and how quickly you accelerate. So just speaking, uh, I guess, purely from logic, I would see where that could cause some premature wear on your stepper motor. So just a disclaimer, um, that, that may be a potential. Again, I've been doing it for over a year, have not had a problem. Uh, so uh, let's jump into it. So again, uh, OMSEC lasers, when they come from the factory, I'm sure they put some settings in there where you don't tear them up. They don't want to honor, you know, I mean, they don't want to have to contend with any kind of uh, warranty claims. So I'm sure they put the safest thing in there they can for the longevity of the machine. That's their reputation. Um, but for me, uh, with some of the longer engraving jobs that I was doing, it was well worth it uh, to take that chance of losing a stepper motor to, to uh, get more output from the machine and again so far it's, it's paid off well um, so we'll jump into it so we're going to do a couple of things I'm going to show you default settings uh, that are in your controller on your Omtech laser from the factory I'm going to show you what I've changed my settings to I'm going to show you how to make those changes how to back up your default settings uh, and I'm also going to show you a short demonstration of speed before and after with the default settings uh, versus the settings that I actually have loaded in the machine so here we go. All right, so over in Lightburn, uh, to get to your machine settings, you're gonna need to go to the edit menu, and this is in version 1.1.04. Some of the menu items have changed from one version to the next, but I know this works with this version. So you're gonna go into the edit menu, and you're gonna go down to machine settings, and you're gonna open it up. All right, so now what it does, it reads from your controller on your laser in Lightburn, and uh, these are the machine settings that I currently have in there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just going to open up my uh, the standard stock settings that I've got backed up. Uh, all right, and I'm going to load those right quick. All right, and so within these machine settings, this is probably pretty close to what you have that came from the factory uh, here. You've got your idle speed, idle acceleration, max acceleration, your start speeds on your different axes, um, just all of the default settings that tell. Uh, the laser head or what I call the laser head how fast to travel across the different axes um, but these settings can be tweaked uh, to speed things up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up side-by-side -side shots to show you the standard settings versus the ones that I've changed mine to and then I'll show you uh, what you need to do to back them up and 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 uh, to make sure you don't lose your, your stock settings all right, so here we go. Here's a couple of screenshots, and I'll drop these down in the comments or in the description of the video so you can you can have them. On the left-hand side, what we've got is our stock machine settings from the factory. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, we've got what I've actually loaded into the machine to speed things up. All right, so you can see if I can get where you can see both. All right, so nothing has changed uh, until you get to uh, max acceleration here. So I've got my max acceleration shifted from 2,000 to 3,000. And then moving down into our engraving parameters, this is where you're gonna see the biggest difference. So where we've got X acceleration 3,000 stock from the factory on the left here, on the right, I've changed that number to 10,000. We've got the Y acceleration stock from the factory at 2,000, and I've got that changed to 3,000. Pretty much everything else other than rotary settings, which don't matter for this application, are the same. So the two things that I've changed that have, that have given me significantly greater output, I guess there's three things here, are gonna be the max acceleration change from 2,000 to 3,000. And then down in engraving parameters, change the X and the Y acceleration from 3,000 and 2,000 to 10,000 and 3,000. So those are the biggest significant differences. All right, now I'm gonna show you actually how to, to do that in Lightburn. So again, you go to edit, you go down to machine settings, and the very first thing you want to do is save your stock settings to a file. That is in case something goes terribly wrong and you don't like what you did, you don't like what I told you to do or what I showed you, and you can go back to your factory settings. So the very first thing to do is gonna be um, save to file. 
and you're gonna save this somewhere where you know where it is and name it something you know what it is. Uh, so default settings with the date might be a good file name, putting it on your desktop or somewhere you, you know you're not gonna lose track of it. You do that and then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna hit save, save it to your computer and you're gonna be good to go. You'll be able to access that in the future. All right, so when you need to go back and get your default settings, you're gonna go load from file and you're gonna scroll over to where you have it saved and you're gonna go get your default settings. I misspelled here, but that's okay. All right, double click, reading controller settings. Once you have done that, you can see we've got all our stock settings back here. We're gonna hit right and we're gonna send that over to the controller so that will actually put it into the controls for your laser. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little test burn with our stock settings just as a demo and then we'll compare it to what it looks like after we speed the settings up. Okay, so we've got this test to demo speed, and I'm actually going to shorten this word up um, just a little bit for speed of this video. All right, I'm going to frame it, just make sure I'm kind of in the, in the... Okay, so this is stock, and to me it's almost mind-blowing because I haven't run this speed in such a long time. So we're just doing the letter T. It's upside down, but we're doing the letter T. And it is taking a hot minute. All right, so we're just, all right. So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna shift the settings uh, to the faster settings and you'll quickly get the idea of how, how significant these changes are. All right, now shorten the sentence uh, here just to make it a little easier. And I'm gonna go back up to my edit menu, edit. I'm gonna to go to machine settings. And for me, I've already got some saved. For you, what you'll actually need to do is go here, click, change these numbers to the ones that I showed you in the screenshots. And then you're gonna to need to, after you make your changes from 3,000 to 10,000 and 2,000 to 3,000 and change your numbers, you're gonna go down here and you're gonna hit write. And you're gonna write it to the controller and that's gonna make your machine take it. But for me, since I already have a set of, of uh, settings saved. I'm gonna load mine from the file. This is what you would do in the future. So I've got my standard machine settings I saved somewhere at the beginning of the year. It became my new standard and you can see I've got the 10,000 in there. Alright so I've loaded my settings. I'm just going to hit write. Okay they're written. It says they've been written successfully so I should be good to go. I'm gonna hit OK. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send this back to the laser and I'm gonna show you the difference in the speed. All right, so this is after. You should be able to immediately see a big difference. I mean, it just grinds through that D and it grinds through that E. Like it's nothing, like really quickly. All right, so I'll stop the machine. One thing I will say is that every time it's moving back and forth, the stepper motor here is driving this belt, which is driving the, the nozzle here to go back and forth. You're probably putting some wear and tear on the stepper motor. There's a chance you can make it fail. Um, I've been doing it for about a year, haven't had a problem. However, again, uh, you know, perform this at your own risk, could lose the stepper motor. Okay, so I'm going to go through the process one more time of loading your standard settings back into the machine just to make sure everybody's uh, got, got that. Um, again, give it a shot. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But uh, if you want to speed the jobs up, this will definitely, definitely get it done. Alright, so one more time, just going back to your standard settings. You're going to go to edit. You're going to go to machine settings. Uh, you're going to go to load from, not to your traffic. You're gonna to go to load from file. You're gonna find your file. You're gonna find your um, your standard settings. Double click it or click open and then hit right. Click on right. And again, that's gonna write it to the controller. Once it's successful, controller settings written successfully. Alright, so that's the video for today. Um, hope this is helpful. Going to be more content coming to the channel uh, periodically. Um, uh, anything from how to hook up your air assist to how to speed up your laser settings. And, uh, but if you did find it helpful, it would help me out 
If you can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, follow my channel for more great content. Thanks.